how climate change might affect the distribution, frequency and intensity of tropical storms. Just going to have a look at this. This is going to get us started. Okay, just, you just need to recall that during the Industrial Revolution, um, here we've got the amount of CO2 in the in the atmosphere, um, and as you can see, it's gone from about 285 parts per million in the in the atmosphere um, through to current days. Um, you know, the the most recent data shows that actually this line could go even further up to about 409 parts per million. Okay, um, that's um, a change caused by human activity, burning of fossil fuels, destruction of uh, rainforests, and so on. And what we've seen with that is that the temperature um, has gone up as the uh, CO2 has gone up. Okay, so um, we've got climate change happening, and that's going to have an impact on tropical storms. So uh, climate change is a change in global or regional climate patterns. Tropical storm frequency, frequency is just a measure of how often something occurs. Um, and tropical storm distribution, that's where the tropical storms occur. Okay, so that's two key words there. Frequency, how often, distribution, where they happen. And the tropical storm intensity is how strong those tropical storms are. In terms of the um, tropical storms and those, those features, recent warming um, of the climate means that there's more energy available in the atmosphere um, and in, in our oceans to fuel tropical storms. And remember, one of the conditions for tropical storms for them to form is that the seawater needs to be at least 27 degrees Celsius and to a sufficient depth of around 60 metres for those storms to actually have the energy that they need uh, to be created. Uh, the graph shows you uh, the number of storms in the North Atlantic. That's one of our longest records. Um, and what it does show is that the total number of storms we've got, we're split it into two we've got the moderate to long-lived storms the blue ones and then the short duration storms so those are in the in the red at the bottom the number of moderate to long-lived storms that their, their number um, hasn't really gone up very much it hasn't altered that a great deal it, it declined a little bit uh, through this period here from 1965 through to about 1994 and then after that we've got more of them Okay, what is clear has gone up is these number of short duration storms. Okay, and that means in total we are seeing um, more more storms overall. Okay, so in terms of the number of storms, not a massive impact um, on the total number, but there will be slightly more. Um, uh, it's it's in other areas that those storms might might have, have more impact. So the one thing that we have noticed is that the intensity of storms. Is tends to be going up, so we're getting bigger storms um, of, with stronger winds and higher storm surges. So you can see that here on this graph from 1970 onwards, um, the amount of energy within the storms within a, any given year, you, know, you can see it bounces up and down. But the the most energetic storms come towards the back end of the period, and that gives us this average trend line, which is heading upwards. So that means we'd have stronger winds, uh, more property damage. And then, unfortunately, more storm surges as well of higher, um, of higher magnitude with bigger waves. Okay, um, and don't forget, storm surges are what kill the majority of people in tropical storm events. The last thing to consider is where they'll occur. Uh, this is a map of uh, changes in the power dissipation index. How strong those um, hurricanes and tropical storms, cyclones, typhoons will be, um, and unfortunately. Um, quite a lot of the areas where we get tropical storms will have increases from a slight change right the way through to a major change. So, you know, the major areas will be off that um, coast of Australia there, across in Southeast Asia, um, and on the western side of, of Mexico. Okay, so there are places where we're going to see changes in the power dissipation index. Uh, the other thing to note is that... Um, we're going to see changes outside of the of the tropics or the distribution of where we get storms could change as, as well with climate change with a warmer climate so uh, we've got that marked on there and the other thing i've just marked on there is the the current location of water above 27 degrees celsius you can see that some of those um, increases in power dissipation index from those storms the storms will start between the tropics but we might see bigger effects outside of the tropics so in summary, the number of storms has not gone up significantly, 
but the strength of the intensity of storms is going up and those storms are going to affect more parts of the globe and that's all thanks to more energy available due to warmer temperatures as a result of climate change in terms of your tasks okay uh, you need to describe the pattern on the graphs okay so there's the the graph what happens to the total number of storms the number of short duration ones then you've got this graph describe the patterns on that what happens over time can you say why mentioning climate change in your answer so you want to be talking about the amount of energy available there and then uh, you've got a map there uh, what's happened what's predicted to happen to the power of storms across the globe how does this differ from where the current main storm areas are at the moment okay and to finish up a little bit of skills there's you can calculate the mean and the range don't forget the mean you'd add all of the numbers in this column together and divide by the number of uh, number of periods there so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so in this column you'd add all of those together and divide by 14 that will give you your, your mean the range you take the biggest value and subtract the smallest okay and uh, you could fill out that summary table as well all of that is available as an editable text document as well so you could fill out that editable text document and that will help you through that particular topic enjoy the lesson